Vials is a web-based tool for visualizing and analyzing alternative splicing of genes. DNA is transcribed into RNA, which is then used to assemble proteins. During this process, non-coding regions, the introns, are spliced out and only axons remain. The splicing, however, produces variations of the final transcript, as axons can be omitted or truncated. These variants are called isoforms. Modern techniques like RNA-seq can read RNA data from short fragments called reads. The reads can belong to a single axon or can span two axons, in which case they prove that the two axons are connected via a junction. Based on this information, we can predict how frequent a connection between axon occurs in a sample, and even how frequent a specific combination of axons and isoform is. Vials provides an overview of all this data for multiple biological samples and groups of samples at the same time. The isoform view in the center shows the isoforms and their axons on the left, and the abundances of samples for these isoforms on the right. The expression view at the bottom shows the expression data for samples or groups of samples. The junction view on top shows all junctions between axons and how frequently they occur in the samples. Vials is based on a genomic coordinate system. The three views are all aligned to it. As the introns are often not interesting but use a lot of space, we can collapse them to have more space for the data in the axons. Genes can be on the forward or the reverse strand of the DNA. To make genes on the reverse strand easier to read, vials can invert the reading direction. When we hover over samples, they are highlighted in all views. Clicking on a sample assigns it a unique color. Samples can be grouped and their data can be aggregated. Selecting a group works the same way as selecting a sample. Let's move up to the isoform view. The isoform view shows an overview of all isoforms. Each isoform is in a row. The axons that make up an isoform are shown as dark blocks. We can see that the isoforms are made up of different axons. To the right of the isoforms, we see dot plots that show the abundance of the isoforms for each sample. When hovering over a dot, we see all data points that belong to the same sample light up. A line connects the dots, making the associations easier to see. Isoforms can be sorted by the occurrence of accents, or by average abundance. The junction view shows junction support for all samples as dot and box plots. Each start of a junction is represented by a gray flag, each end by a white flag. When hovering over a flag, all other connections are faded out. When we select an isoform in the isoform view, its junctions are put into focus. Here we loaded the dataset with more than 200 samples. We can change how the junction support is displayed by switching off jitter or showing only outliers for the box plots. To see how samples correlate between junctions, we can create scatter plots where the sample dots of one selected junction are ordered horizontally by their magnitude. This shows us how the samples behave in other junctions. We can dynamically change the selected junction and see how their order is applied to other junctions. We can either define groups of samples manually as we have seen earlier, or we can load the groups from a metadata file. In this example, we group a different types of cancer. We can then select groups to assign colors and see the distribution of samples over isoforms in the isoform view. To better compare groups, we can pop out a details display in the isoform view. We can also divide the samples in the junctions into groups, which makes them easier to compare. For more information about vials, take a look at our paper or visit our webpage. Thank you for watching our video.